Welcome to the Gear Slum, your one-stop shop for all things guitar culture nonsense. I'm Aaron. I'm Phil. And I'm Cole. We slum it hard so you don't have to. to get your opinion as a staunch capitalist and hardcore defender of the free market um (laughs) it's the only system that works what do you what are your thoughts about um the new york times having acquired wordle Ooh, oh no see these are ah geez aaron it's not football i promise it wouldn't be football listen this is not fair we will talk about football a little bit though to our viewer at home, Aaron just asked me a question about two things I know very little about. The New York Times and Wordle? Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, is capitalism... Well, oh no. Okay. Capitalism is when the letters the are question. big. The tall letters. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you prefer tall Say, letters okay. to short ones. Say... Right. Yes. That's the story of my life, right? So Those I was always freaking liber- liberals and their short What are letters. your thoughts about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But they did. Wait. The New York Times did buy Wordle today. Ooh. So, okay. So, okay. so here's the two pertinent things you need to know. Number one, Wordle is free. Number two, the New York Times oh. keeps... The paywall. No. Did he did he cut out for you, Phil? Oh, did I? He did. I saw you. You said the New York Times keeps up, something, every, something, keeps something paywall. Everything behind a paywall. Exactly. So Wordle, okay. and it's oh, even so worse because Wordle was this very wholesome. Um, how dare like, you apply that I'm afraid of anything, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> um Wordle to get Wurzel? was like made yeah. by a man, <laughs> which I'm not totally in support of, you know. Yeah, um, like why do you have to make it? Exactly. Um, he made it for his significant other, his wife or something, who likes Aww. word games. And it was just like a fun thing. It's a great idea for a social game because it's one word a day and everyone gets the same word and you can only play it once a day. And it has like... They basically came up with a really good way of sharing your results without spoiling it. That's essentially why it's popular, right? Yeah. Okay. And That's and true. I think another good another big reason it's popular is because one of the most sort of I'm the type of guy who has seen a lot of ads for games. I was actually just thinking about this today in other games. Mm-hmm. That's like half of iOS games are just ad based, and they're ads for other games. Mm-hmm. And one thing that people love the most is when you make them feel smart. And that is what Wordle does, essentially. I mean, it's pretty easy to guess it within six guesses, right? Like any any normal person is going to be able to guess the Wordle within yeah, six guesses. Like 90, 90% of the time, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm... I'm at a, I've never not gotten it right, and I've, I'm on like day 23 or something like that. So that's part wow. of it. Is it makes, yeah. Did I'm gonna just send that? you my screenshot. Wow. No, we it, need uh, to send everyone listening. Oh, 24. My current streak is 24. Oh, 100 percent wow. one. Wow. But again, that's yeah. and I've only I it's only taken me six guesses one time. Um. Mm. So that is a big part of the appeal is that it makes everybody feel smart. So they, they kind of caught lightning in a bottle and it's this really mm-hmm. wholesome thing. It helps us all forget what a terrible world we live in. And then <laughs> the New York times acquires it. And do you remember what New York times said when they acquired it? No, 
or did you see uh, the? Wait, 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 wait. Uh-uh. Let me guess. Was oh, they it, said uh, it will initially Mr. remain. Smithers? <laughs> oh, see, you're it ruling. Will initially remain I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say that uh, they just quoted, uh, like they just played a Mr. Smithers soundbite. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Yeah, so they That's it. so part of the problem and and you knew this wasn't going to be sustainable is that this guy made this thing with no real way like he was making zero money from it, right? Right. I mean, I, he has to be. Cuz there's no there's no ads on the page. There's no and and so you think, okay, something goes viral. There's no way this guy's going to not make money from this thing. Right. But yeah, and, yeah, so New York Times acquires it and they say and he posts this thing that's like, we've met with them and our values align and blah, blah, blah. You know, all this bull crap. And it's like, whatever, you, you're going to send your kids line. to college. No. Like, yeah. more power to this guy. But the New York Times, yeah, all they tweeted out was, and it will initially remain free. <laughs> Basically, like, until we what? develop the infrastructure. to Like the first it. week or something, it'll be free. Yeah. And the other thing that's going to be, and so- oh, and he... He promised like, oh, they're going to figure out a way to carry over your results. But it's all just it's all just saved in your cookies. Like if you use a different browser or something, it would it reset your results. So that'll be another thing that people will be pissed off at because I'm sure they're not going to like there's no way that's going to be seamless. You know, I'm going to lose my 24 streak for sure. Oh, man, I'm going to lose my eight streak. I'm going to be real. My streak is not great. Um, How much did they pay that man for it it says low seven figures did it say i didn't i never saw any kind of estimate what yeah that's what i've read that's what i've read read. i mean like like i it has to get hundreds of millions of hits a day right so like even if even if it's just ad based i mean it's worldwide right it's super like even if they keep it free and just have ads or something i don't know that but that it's like one of those things where they acquired it after it may it's not going to stay this popular it's like it's like when right the yeah. angels paid pujols like when he was past his prime you know yeah. like you're paying him for past performance essentially yeah no it's gonna go on and it's just gonna end up being like another one of their like daily or weekly puzzles like yeah crossword which the, which is like, fun is very popular the daily crossword is super popular isn't it? especially the mini one yeah i mean it totally it, it's like it totally fits with that mini crossword it's like the perfect you know yeah i mean i don't do that. the new york times one because you have to pay for it but i do the um washington post crossword most days and they just, I think they just use the LA Times one, but. It's so confusing. Yeah. Mm. I like crosswords. Mm. Yeah. So Wordle, uh, well, plus it has like this extra, you know, like once in a while you'll get totally lucky. Like in theory, you're guessing the word in four or five guesses or six mm. maybe, right? The vast majority of words. If you have like a decent strategy and can, you know, and none of the words are obscure in any way. They're all like very basic words, right? Right, right. So, it, but it, sometimes you might get it. Like I've gotten it in two guesses once and it was just like a total. Ooh. Yeah, my fluke. wife got it in two guesses today. So I start with the same two words almost. Well, I used to start with aside and mount. And one one day mount was the word. So I just got it right. Oh, nice. Um, is heck yeah. Is it normal to th- do one the same word every time? Well, I think a lot of I've like intentionally not done a Jew or those other like absolutely optimized words. Yeah, yeah. I do but power I th- every day. That's my first word every time. Power? Yeah. <laughs> is your second why. word white? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I like to do power <laughs> and then I see what comes up. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad word. It, no, it tells you a lot. Yeah, I w is like kind of a, a less common letter, but the rest of those are really common. Yeah. I do Kanye every time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then Yeezy, Y-E-E-Z-Y. That'd be a good guess, I think. <laughs> yep, every time. 
Kanye <laughs> has changed time. his name now to Ye, though. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, that's right. Yes, I did know that. Yay! Like that. Go. That's how he pronounces I, it, right? Yay! I type in <laughs> I type in Snoop Lion one word every time. <laughs> Check this out. Here's a headline from NME.com. Kanye West, colon, and then he quotes, do not ask me to do a effing NFT. <laughs> <laughs> uh i love that video the sound gets used on tiktok a lot but it's like some paparazzi guy outside of his garage and i can't remember what he says to him kanye you doing blah 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 and he just goes shut the f up <laughs> you remember that <laughs> i like kanye He's like weirdly endearing for somebody who's so like out of touch with reality, you know. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So bonkers. I have you seen the? Uh, for some reason, well, it was I guess it was vi it was viral recently because of Spider Man, Toby Maguire screaming at paparazzi about being in his car and like. Oh, that wasn't that from an episode of Punked or something, or is that a different thing? Is, is that really what it was from? Well, was there was so angry. There was an episode of Punked where he like totally, which is like Punked is such a stupid. I hate dumb show. I hate pranks that are based on the premise of like people reacting how a normal people should, but you're laughing at them because you think they're overreacting. But it's like yeah. no, they're they're the only they're the only sane ones in this scenario. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but there is there was like a very famous clip of toby mcguire re like quote unquote overreacting during a punked episode i don't i don't know if it's the same one though it's the thing that that the new spider-man has like gotten people interested in older movies so that's why they're looking for toby mcguire stuff or what like i don't what's the connection no i think it's i think the the way that people know that Oh, like why is Tobey Maguire in? Because he's not the new, he's not the new Spider Man, right? It's Tom Holland. Or is there a new Tobey Maguire Spider Man movie? Are they are they doing Spider Man Part Four? Sidebar, uh, sidebar, Phil. Uh, Have you seen the latest Spider Man movie, Aaron? No. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> The reason I was actually <laughs> laughing though is because I went and looked up, I went and looked up that Kanye video, <laughs> and it's just a reporter saying, "Good morning, Kanye." <laughs> he goes, "Shut the f up." Uh, That's so great. Oh, that is. Toby oh. McGuire. It's understandable for him to be in the spotlight again. Yeah, but Aaron. why? Like, explain it to me. No reason. I'm just kidding. I already know. No. I actually haven't seen the movie either. Okay. I just I just How? know. That, well, heck, like, you look it up on IMDb and all these people show up, like, freaking yeah, yeah. Doc Ock is in there and stuff. Okay. Right? Doc Ock? Hang Doc on a Ock. second. How, Doc Ock. Doc Ock. How, How badass would it be? Doc Ock. <laughs> Don't say that. How bad? <laughs> <laughs> yes. How badass would it be if Toby Maguire were a um, Sith Lord in the next Star Wars? I think movie? it would be like the worst. It would be worst ass. No, it'd be no, good. It would be good ass. Not bad at all. Not bad. It would not be so. Good not ass. too shabby. It would, it would be good ass. <laughs> I think that would be fun, Toby actually. Maguire. What if he and Andrew Garfield both were Sith Lords? Dude, Sith? yes. A Sith? Sith. A Sith? How thick would it be, you guys? Did you guys, did you guys also watch that video a hundred times? The, that Jimmy Fallon? I can't remember what it was for. It was like the intro to the Video Music Awards or something like that. A child. But it was him doing... Have you seen that, Phil? No, I'm laughing at Aaron's stupid. <laughs> no. <laughs> Aaron just says random, no. <laughs> random crap. Random vines. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it makes me laugh. And I'm angry at myself for laughing at his stupid joke. 
there was some guitar thing I wanted to ask you about too, but it's left my mind. So, do you guys see oh. this? Uh... Oh, let me guess, Aaron. Did you buy like another like <laughs> normal thing at full price? No, I haven't done that oh, in a very okay. long time. You did you just go to Guitar Center and pay like you know, I don't know, forty dollars for a guitar cable or something? Planet <laughs> Waves, Planet <laughs> Waves guitar viewers, strap. For the viewers, Aaron. Aaron in the last few years has bought multiple things at like a normal price. I think it was just two, right? All right. Yeah, multiple. And he's sitting here while recording a podcast eating something with a spoon. <laughs> I'm eating Rocky Road ice cream. Just a norm like just normal, just norm core thing. Rocky Road. That's like one of my favorite ice cream flavors. Rocky well, Road. Okay. Hi. I love it. You want to know one of the one of the most vivid memories I have of my honeymoon to my wife um, is e. no. we went to no. <laughs> we Aaron, spent a few no. days in just Aaron, hanging out in San no, Diego. No, 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 no. And no. we went to SeaWorld. And no, 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 no. <laughs> we went to one of the shows. And before no, the show, no. there was like a no, warm up no, act no, 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 no. for the show. <laughs> and it was some dude <laughs> playing a guitar and singing Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> It was, I was the saying, weirdest thing. at SeaWorld. I was too busy, <laughs> Phil. I was too busy listening to Phil take the joke way farther than it needed to be taken. <laughs> like no, a hundred times. So where were you? Yeah, we and were Phil, at, shut up this time. I and it was will. like, you know, you go to like the shows at SeaWorld, like the animal shows. So this is just a dude at SeaWorld <laughs> playing Rocky Mountain High. He was like he was like, the, was like opening, the opposite, was like the opening act for Shamu or something. Because well, SeaWorld is based around like the sea. In there? Which, by yes. definition, is at sea level. Rocky <laughs> Mountain High is like the opposite. The yeah, it was so weird. That'd be pretty great. He just went up on stage. There was a live mic, so he's like, screw it. He's just a musical yeah. terrorist. He brought his own headset yes, mic exactly. with him. So did you guys know, I can't believe, if I have not said this before, I, I've been aware of this for a long time, that Beck, that, that is how he got his start. Is that at SeaWorld? No. He would <laughs> run up to mics with his guitar like between acts and start playing until people like <laughs> physically grabbed him and like removed him and then he got discovered that way mm, no that's such that's a wild okay that that's like an interesting i see a lot of this is like one of the things that i don't like about TikTok and about social media in general is like there's a huge number of videos of just people reacting to or just like people in situations where they're losing their cool or whatever. And then everyone has to decide like who was justified in their behavior or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah. like somebody running on stage with a microphone <laughs> that is like, uh, like not appropriate. Right. Yeah. It's, like it's, it's not their really turn, dumb. but like, it's not your turn. Yes. You can't like punch them. Right. Right. You that's can't like, that's overkill. Maybe you can't even like, push them off the stage i don't know you just have to like and gently what if grab they're it. like good. you can't even like, <laughs> like grab their arm really you have to like do that thing where you kind of like curve your hand around the inside of their arm and like gently pull them with yeah yeah exactly like, yeah. without technically <laughs> grabbing them you got to hook them or like the guy i've wondered this the guy who ran on the field which game was it where the guy ran on the field uh was Every game? last week was it yeah. in Kansas City i think it was in Kansas City maybe so but anyways he got like hit pretty hard by one of the players and i'm thinking like i don't know oh, if that's yeah, yeah, yeah. i guess you could claim that like they you were you were afraid that they were coming on the field to harm somebody mm -hmm. but like i wonder if that guy could then go back and sue the player and be like that wasn't a reasonable response you know like he gave me a concussion well yeah plus security is right there too like are you yeah. ready to grab him <laughs> and also like they all like went through metal detectors just to get in the stadium anyways so it's not like the dude had a weapon or something and then, yeah he just like <laughs> so stefan yeah he just took him out at but, worst it's like you're you're taking you're taking my time like i'm standing around waiting for you to get removed yeah. from the field <laughs> and it's also funny because on the on live tv they never show them because they don't want to encourage it right, right. yeah they yeah. make a point of like not talking about it and they cut away as if somebody had just been like murdered on the field and they don't want to yeah. show it or something you know 
But then along those same lines, I saw a video yesterday of somebody running on stage. I can't remember who it was that was playing. He, I know he, who it was. Oh. We have the, almost the same algorithm. It's the yeah. Slipknot guy, Chris something. Or oh, something. yes, the lead singer of Slipknot. But he was doing like an yes. acoustic song or something. Yes, and the, his famous one. And his security guy just completely oh, Corey? destroyed. Corey yeah, yeah. It's like Corey Taylor, maybe? Yeah, yeah, Corey Taylor. Corey, yes, that sounds right. And uh, <laughs> this guy runs up on stage, and his security guy just completely destroys this dude. And I, was, I had the same thought of like, ugh. That was excessive. And then I go to the comments and the very first one was about like, yeah, ever since Dimebag, you can't do that. And I was like, oh, that's a totally valid point. You know, like, yeah, it's but... also pretty depressing to think about. But I mean, it Wait, makes more sense in like an uncontrolled environment than in like a football game. Yeah. In, yeah. In a football stadium where literally the entire world is watching like. And you can't get away, Dimebag? you know, what's that? Died. Dimebag. On Someone stage. went on stage and shot him on stage during a performance. It's like a pretty wild and there's like footage of it. I remember watching some it was like behind the music or one of those about about him. Um yeah, the the dude, yeah, the video that that uh Cole and I are <laughs> have both watched. I I at first I thought yikes, that was an excessive show of force yeah the 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 bodyguard like it is like flying it's, shoulder to jaw so good dude <laughs> it's like a perfect football like farm tackle or whatever yes open it's field like tackle the the perfect football tackle or the perfect professional wrestler like <laughs> yeah and the guy just gets dropped and then the slipknot guy goes sucks to be you dude <laughs> yeah <laughs> just like a pretty great <laughs> like very casually yeah well and it's like, great because it's not he's not like calling him out for coming on stage or anything he's like well sorry like that's you know yeah consequences yeah. of your actions i guess you get what you get okay and you, and you don't throw a fit or you don't get upset and you don't poop your pants when you get tackled by a 300 pound dude yeah i think that's the way the saying goes You know so, what I've been seeing a lot on, on TikTok is um, uh, the Verve pipe. I've been seeing a lot of the Verve pipe. Well, yeah, that guy, he's been doing a bunch of he he kind of did the same thing that the that the redhead guy from Sandlot did. Yeah, like yeah. he kind of did a bunch of TikToks to cash in on the nostalgia, and then yeah. Well, that dude has a podcast too, I think. Which obviously, oh, he does. Of course, he does. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um. But half the jokes are like about how he, how, he, people, how they're not the verb. Yeah, people ask him to play yeah, bittersweet yes. symphony. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. Which is like pretty weird that those two bands were popular right at the same time. Yeah, and they both yeah. have a very obscure word. You know, the question everyone wants to know is who named their band first. Yeah. That's the that is really the question. Let's see. The verb started in 1990. Mm. Verve pipe had Where? to have been later than Where? that, right? In England. Okay. Yeah, and the Verve, Verve pipe, pipe was in ninety two. In in Michigan. In Michigan. Oh, see. Mm -mm. Well. But think you, ha though. you have to think about yes, you have to think about the nineties first of all. <laughs> you do. And have to you think have to about think the about 90s always <laughs> how how fast information could spread. Mm -hmm. And you have to think about how far behind East Lansing, Michigan was from um, England, like in Just terms musically. of coolness. Yeah, the, music lover, cool. the lovable lads of East Michigan. Of so East it's Lansing. possible to construct a, a timeline in which the Verve Pipe was actually named first, even though they weren't in the real yeah, in yeah. the world. But Or it's like in two people invent the same thing. Yeah, not like, knowing like one didn't steal yeah. it from the other, they just happened to both. Yeah, that. which one's Armageddon and which one's Deep Impact? Yeah, exactly. It's like who created the bow and arrow? Was it the Native Americans or was it the um, Aboriginals in Australia? Yeah, right. Yep. It's just it's like that. It's like this and like that and like <laughs> this and that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, but seriously, other, another thing that happened every day is, um, I don't know. Who created the bow and arrow? <laughs> Um, it dates back to the Stone Age, so no one knows. Wait, dinosaur times. Fred Flintstone. The earliest, the earliest people known to have regularly used bows and arrows were the ancient Egyptians. Uh, that's just because they they wrote it down. Yeah, that's I saw garbage. this pretty. That doesn't mean that they're the earliest. I don't know the answer. That's freaking stupid. I saw this pretty great tweet that said, what if the asteroid that destroyed the dinosaurs wasn't actually an asteroid? It was a UFO, and we were the aliens. Oh, snap. That came and, like, we colonized Earth. You just blew my mind. From the dinosaurs. We were, wait, wait, wait. We were the aliens, and we we landed so hard that we blew up the planet. No, we, we got, survived. like... The dinosaurs died of smallpox. Okay, but what okay, about but, what about how we survived and forgot that we were aliens? That's kind of dumb, don't you think? No, because this was like millions of years ago. So why would we remember that? It's been wiped out of our collective consciousness. Because yeah. we, why would we not have things written down if we were in a freaking spaceship? We didn't because they didn't write things down back then. It, it's cyclical. Because they just they just remembered everything. That's actually a good. What like is there ever going to be a point where we have less information than we do now? Like no, the internet's never never going to decrease. Or so maybe it was like that. uh, The Tomorrow War. Have you seen that movie? On Mm. yeah, it's dumb, Aaron. Maybe it was like that. Maybe we were like (laughs) under the ice for a long time, and then when we came out, we're like, I don't know. We were like we hatched from eggs. (laughs) We were like I don't know. Speaking of dumb movies, like, we were have, like, I don't know. <laughs> have you guys ever seen Ten Thousand BC? No. Did we talk about it is that already? The, is that the Mel Gibson one? No, it is. There's nobody you've heard of that's in it, and it right. It was it was a Hollywood movie, movie, and it was the first movie I ever got on Netflix in 2008. It was that's I've I've had Netflix since, since 2008, and mm. it was the first DVD we got. My wife was why? excited to get it. I don't know why she chose this one. What's but it called? Ten Thousand BC. Oh yeah, yeah. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> it has a nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes. To give you an idea, I was thinking of Apocalypto. Oh. For some reason, I always, I always like mix 10, up. I know BC. they're different, but I was think like there's Ten Thousand BC, and then there's the uh, the uh, Scientology one with John Travolta. Michael? And they came out. Uh, Battleship no. Earth? Was it Battle- <laughs> Is that about Scientology? Was, he, was that what he yes. was in that movie, a Scientologist? No, it, yes. was, it was written by, it's based on a book by L. Ron Hubbard. And it's based on Scientology theology. Yeah, like, it's like, it's, he's like the C.S. Lewis of Scientology. Yes. <laughs> Scientology so it's the theology. Narnia. It's the Scientology theology. It's the Narnia of Scientology. Um, oh, this gives you but, an idea. It says if you like 10,000 BC, this is on Rotten Tomatoes. You may also like the very first one, Don't Mess with the Zohan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which is that Adam Sandler, weird one. G.I. Yes. Joe is also on there. All of the movies that it says you might also like, they're all under 30% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> So it's basically like is, if you like crappy movies, is you might also like Earth on the list. No, there's Push, which I never heard of that. Oh, I saw oh, is that. Is that based on? Yeah, yeah, that's um. Is that based on the? It's got a Darth Vader in it. Darth novel? Vader's in it. Oh, and, and Chris uh, Evans is in it too. Obsessed. It's got a nineteen percent. I don't know. So, I, I'm. Is Battlefield Earth and 10,000 BC, did they come out like within a couple years of each other? 10,000 BC no. came out in 2008. Okay. What's I the, feel like Battlefield what's Earth what's the plot was of that movie? older than that, right? Wasn't Battlefield Earth like when I was in high school? No. You're thinking of... Yeah. Um, 
What's yeah. that? Battlefield Earth 2000, an American sci fi movie from 2000. Oh, yeah. Okay. Based on the you, 1982. I guess you were in high yeah. school. So were you. I mean, for a little while, yeah. For half of the year? Uh, for like four months of the year, like a third of the year. You graduate in April? Did I graduate in July? Oh, you think the movie was out of theaters when <laughs> you graduated from high school, Aaron? <laughs> I'm thinking oh, it was on, a summer blockbuster. I think May probably... 10th. May 10th, okay. 2000. There's no yeah. way you graduated before May 10th. So about a month. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Mm, about a month. <laughs> it was in there. It was for sure in about there. About a month. Mm, about a month. Mm, about a month. Yeah, but I've never seen it. So, so you guys, I have something else I want to talk about. Oh. Is it Judy Justice? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Judy, Judy Justice. Justice. I can't. I gotta go. I gotta go watch it. Maybe you can't find it's still like the the way you watch these full episodes of Judge Judy on YouTube, there are these videos that are like three hours long and they're like you know the video like moves around within the frame or whatever, yes. yeah, yeah, or it's yeah, like yeah. flipped so so yeah, they don't exactly. get <laughs> strike like copyright strike or whatever. I, I got to find a way to watch the new Judy Justice. Okay, so you guys remember my band uh, was going to play at an old folks home, or I, I guess I'm kind of giving away uh -oh. what's happening here. Okay, mm -hmm. so we were scheduled to play on a Friday uh afternoon at two o'clock as most bands do Cole, play their gigs the chase, how at two o'clock in the afternoon did you kill with your covid <laughs> how many so we jam the thursday night before like a week before the gig right yeah we jam saturday morning our bassist texts all of us and keep in mind like you already know where this is going Keep in mind, like we were practicing harmonies on a few songs, so we're basically like standing in a tight circle, singing in each other's faces and everything. Oh, and uh, a bassist texts us all and says, "Hey, I have COVID," and it was like really bad. Like he was, he was like really sick for two days, and he said he. It's, not, it's not baby COVID. <laughs> so Thursday night we practiced. Friday morning is when he tested positive. He didn't tell us till Saturday, and then. Tuesday, two more of the band members test positive for COVID. Ugh. So basically, our gig got canceled. And not the quote unquote, just the flu COVID. It's like the COVID that some people believe is not even real. It's not the COVID hoax COVID. <laughs> it's the knock you on your butt COVID. <laughs> exactly. I mean, interestingly, like, the funny thing is, for the gig, I kind of it would have been interesting to see how they actually did it. They were planning on not having any people in the room with us. When we went there last time, we basically set up in like their cafeteria area, caf their cafeteria. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they had people like, you know, sitting there or wheeled in their wheelchairs or whatever. This time they were going to have us playing in one room and be like live streaming it to all the other cafeterias around the building or maybe to other buildings. That's amazing. You which would have been. Cafeterias because. Isn't cafeteria plural already? No, no. It's the, it's the plural of cafeterium. <laughs> <laughs> cafeteria. I hey, am headed to the cafeterium for lunch. <laughs> yeah, it's um, like auditorium, cafeterium. Exactly. Um. So it would have been interesting to see. I guess it wouldn't be that weird to play for not an audience. It's just like jamming, you know, like it's just like practicing or whatever. Yeah, you just can't do any of your crowd work in between songs. Exactly. How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, don't you go dying on me. The... Anybody, red... Anybody ready for an original? But I'm fully, some, I'm uh... fully back on board. I'm, I'm recommitting myself to my band. I'm gonna have a good attitude about nice. it, and I'm gonna enjoy it. Wow. Just kiss and make up is what I always. So it was say. interesting. I, I think I already told you about this part last week, but you know this this isn't the reason it, it was already it's been a much better experience for the last few months but it was interesting like talking to my friend who offered to like step in and play the drums for us 
mm-hmm. and he he plays in a bunch of bands and um like pretty seriously he's like open for, they've opened for a bunch of big guys and stuff like that and he was big like guys. yeah you know like, like uh blues traveler uh <laughs> those, those two guys those twins that ride the motorcycles from guinness book world Meatloaf. records um yeah. meatloaf r.i.p <laughs> rest in power um and he he was Bad like boys. He he brought up like jerky boys. He was like, "You're gonna have a really hard time finding another group of guys like this to play music with." And he like reiterated the fact that they're all very talented. Like that's one thing. Um, like I think our my band's music, you could take it or leave it, or like it'd be a personal preference thing or whatever. But like each person in my band is very good at their instruments and all that, you know. So Cole, are you saying that? your drummer friend was basically in your the romantic comedy of your band life he was like the gay friend who spoke reason into your life <laughs> yeah like i, I went like, i was honey. i was thinking to move into the big city and then he helped me realize that everything i needed was right here all along <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no it's it's fun like that didn't that didn't uh, sort of determine my decision. I was already like very much my my personality. I think is to abandon things when they don't when they aren't going well, like as a defense mechanism or something. Like relationships specifically, probably. Yeah, you've been saying that, like, which I think is common. Are you trying to like break up with us or? <laughs> Hey, if I was going to abandon this one, it wasn't going well. I would have left after the first episode. Am I right? I was going to say, Aaron, are you saying it's going well? (laughs) I'm saying up until recently, it was going pretty well. I don't, I mean. I I can't. Yeah, we never missed a week. Yeah, just like in Wordle. Your streak isn't as good as mine was, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Dang. Man. Um, Well, I will say I didn't miss any weeks when I was hit by a minivan. (laughs) Jeez, that's crazy to think. What what did we do back then? It was the same thing. Like we would do a couple at a time, and it just happened to I be think like. What happened? I guess you weren't editing, again. so that I was just. But fine. I think I think it was also like it was coincidental that like he got hit like the day after we right recorded after or we had recorded yeah. two episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were like, "Phew, that's a relief." Yeah. Woo. Oh man, that was really Good. gonna put a wrench. That could have really thrown a wrench in our gears here. Oh, gears, get it? Because that's in our name. Uh, oh, because that's what ran over you. Oh, because it's in our name. Got it. You think I was run over by gears? There were gears. I mean, car has your... gears, right? <laughs> yeah. Minivan. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Minivans have five, gears. Five gears at least. You know what looks cool to me? Not to change subjects, but I'm going to change the subject. Uh, Weightlifting? These new Fender JV modified guitars. Have you seen these? No. Yeah. They're based on like, they're like reissues of 80s Japanese Fenders. And I looked for so long to try to figure out where they're made. And I'm fairly confident that they're also made in Japan. They just have two strats and two tellies. It's not like super interesting or anything. Boring. So they start at, yeah, they're all like in the twelve, thirteen hundred dollar range. Yeah, yeah, why yeah. are they so freaking expensive? Because they're I mean, if they're made in Japan, that would make Japan sense. Guitars. The dude do the Mexican player plus are like twelve hundred bucks, yeah. eleven hundred bucks. Yeesh. Yeah, dude, that's the thing. Like that's the world we live in now, dude. It's the new yeah. normal. Can you just get used to it already? Isn't it weird how, yeah. like, when people were like, hey, we need to start being paid more, all the people at the top were like, well, then we'll just start making everything more expensive because there ain't no way we're taking home less. Yeah. That's that capitalism that you love so much, Phil. You love it. Where are they cannot, made? Cannot, I think they're made in Japan, but it they, took me a They while must to be, right? Out. Yeah, but I don't, I looked, I was looking on like Sweetwater and stuff to see, like, on the headstock, and the headstock doesn't say. Okay, explain. Oh, it says 
Guitar World says they're built, yeah. But the main Japan stuff used to always say it on the heel, didn't it? Oh, uh, maybe. Explain to me medium jumbo frets. Um, one That's is the most the, common fret size. One is the width and one is the depth. Yeah. Medium. But medium jumbo frets are also what's on like every standard fender. Okay. Yeah, but, but like, they're like. I'm, that's fine but like explain to me like i'm explaining to you one okay, is medium the is the width and one is the depth and jumbo is the height okay medium is the width and jumbo is the height interesting okay so they're like really tall but they're not super thick or wide okay so that's interesting though because they... i feel like japanese guitars every japanese fender i've ever played had like pretty, pretty low small frets, frets. Right? Yeah. yeah, like that neck on the telly that yeah. I have from you is pretty low, pretty small. Yeah, totally. So, wait, so, so medium in my mind, medium would be would mean there's small and large. Mm -hmm. But then, what is the what are the other variations of jumbo? I think medium jumbo is actually just smaller than jumbo because jumbo came came first. I think. Oh, okay. It's not like no. A... I think here's what happened. I think it was medium, and then they were like. Here's medium jumbo. Uh huh. Is that wrong? Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. yeah, you did. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here's a guitarist. Here's an article from guitarverdict.com, and the title is, "What does medium jumbo actually mean?" <laughs> so apparently, that's what you need, Phil. Good. <laughs> Good. Read it word for word. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I don't know who, because the, the sizes you see are like 61. They're like the 6100 numbers, right? Yeah. But I don't know whose numbers those are. Like, is it a... Oh, it's Dunlop. Okay. Yeah, they it's make, Dunlop manufacturing. They make the the fret wire. Fret wire. Fret wire. Does guitar have a lot of fret wire? Fret wire. Falling off the bones. Egger. Sugar water. Sugar water. Okay, so there was yeah, so regular, there was like regular, which was like the original. And then there was vintage, the jumbo, which was wider, but about the but same not height. Not as tall. About like, it says not as tall, but it's 0 .001 inches shorter. No, that's the width. Are you sure? Oh, no, no, no. You're right. You're right. It's a thousandth of an inch shorter. Yeah. So it's not, it's negligible. <laughs> that's this weird. Is, this is making me. <laughs> Very annoying. And then There's modern, modern era, which is like thinner. It's like in between. Sixty one hundred five are the ones you see those tall on a lot of boutique guitars. I'm pretty sure that's what all of my Ronies have. Or and 6105s. then jumbo is like wide and tall, and medium jumbo is like kind of wide and short. So it's not very tall. So oh, the what? so the jumbo is actually the width, and the medium refers to the height more so. It's like not quite jumbo. No, but it's a lot smaller in both dimensions. Okay. Well, no, it's pretty medium. Yeah, close yeah. In terms it's of a width. lot shorter. Yeah, it's point one one versus point one oh six in width. So I'm like vintage jumbo because I'm much wider but not as tall. Yes, it's like a. Medium that's jumbo. Like, those are vintage jumbo. I like, think it's a tuna can of. Yeah, they call those chode uh, frets. I'm pretty sure. Tuna can of frets. Chode frets. Yeah, and then like modern is like the 6105 is like Virginia Slim. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 Aaron! You can't keep mixing up your uh, your metaphors here. It's Pick one. Skinny and tall. So does Dunlop still, are they like the only company that makes fret wire then? I mean, listen, Aaron, I don't know. I bet like describe, it's not like the main, they're the I mean. main maker. So probably like everyone else just conforms to their standards or like. Or they just buy it from them and resell it or something. Yeah. Aaron, not just for me, but for all of our viewer. Yeah. Don't just, let's pick two. Let's just, let's just stick with um, TV moms. Okay. Describe all of the frets. As if they were TV moms. Ready, go. Um, the sixty-two thirty is the mom from Bobby's World. <laughs> the smallest one. Yeah, the smallest one. Uh, the vintage jumbo, or maybe, is... 
maybe uh that 70s show yeah mm. yeah i could see that the 6150 is marge simpson very tall and skinny it's her hair yeah Incredible. oh uh, good. no 60 oh what did you say 6100 um, maybe the 6105 is is the marge simpson the 6150 is uh everybody loves raymond okay. which one is mrs coach much wider but not as tall which one is who mrs coach a medium jumbo mrs coach okay. tammy taylor oh oh is that who you're talking about i don't know i've never seen the show from friday night lights no he's talking about friday coach night oh lights. oh friday night lights oh are you talking about I thought you were talking about coach the one with uh not that no not that okay one. Which you're talking about Miss Miss Taylor. Dope. Okay, and which one is Roseanne? Connie Britton. I don't think of her as any of them. She's not a fret. She has to be a fret. She doesn't Who? have to be a fret. She's she's a TV mom. Yeah. There's five fret styles. There are way more moms than there five? are frets. What number could he have given you that you wouldn't have been <laughs> shocked by, Phil? I know. <laughs> <laughs> what number could there have been where there would have been more okay. fret styles than tv moms okay cole i will i will answer that question right now you guys have been talking about how well there's medium there's jumbo and so that one is the width and one is the height and i was like okay so what are the variables and then you're like talking about like how they are not variables but they are variables and i've been trying to focus and listen and trying to do the math in my mind as you guys talk about it and then for aaron to just throw out there are five i was like wait how are there five? i think i think there's vintage vintage jumbo modern modern jumbo and then medium jumbo okay but here's the thing i in my mind i <laughs> i thought what you said initially was that medium and jumbo it was like like a north south east west paradigm that's what i believed you were saying now i think right now i'm wrong I yes I, I the the fact the fact that medium well i don't know because Medi medium vintage... doesn't mean the middle of three options is if that's what you're thinking that is what i thought i thought it was yeah. medium large small and then no. jumbo something something and they were like no north like south a, east west you thought it was like and, a grid so yes jumbo it kind of is though that like vintage vintage and medium are the width which i guess and is non jumbo and mind. jumbo are the height like yeah i want to know like when all jumbo these were and non jumbo invented. these are ridiculous terms it's well just some of them aren't jumbo it's not like jumbo there's not a no. word there's not this a word like, that corresponds to not being jumbo. This is like, in my mind, this is like how Starbucks goes, okay, we have medium. No, we have grande, and we have venti, and then we have <laughs> tall. And we venti's have the short. only one that doesn't mean large. Yeah, yeah. and we have tall, He's and we have 20. short. That's a Paul Rudd thing, isn't it? Yep. Trenti. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's like this nonlinear... It's just nonsense. It's like different words that seem like they should have some like some actual like linear meaning. But you want to know what else don't. is funny? The venti, a hot venti is twenty ounces, but a a cold venti is twenty four ounces. Oh, Aaron, believe to me. account for the ice. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay, how about this? No, Phil? but no, 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 crazy because all the other ones are the same size, like relative cold to hot. But Trenti, like, is the only one that is like Trenta. Can... Trenti. It's not Trenta. Yes, it is. It ends with an A. Okay, but nobody says Trenta. No one says Trenti. <laughs> what do people say, Aaron? They say Trenta. No, I've never heard anyone say Trenta. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say. I've never heard anyone say Trenti. Like, like it. There's no way. The A could be pronounced E. <laughs> Trenta. They must say it Trenta. Yeah, right? they say Trenta. That's just. But here's they, the like. Every time I've heard someone say it, they burnt their hand like right when they're saying it. Was it you? Was <laughs> you just hear yourself only? It's not a very creative. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not a very creative 
Like it's just 30. Yeah. In Italian. It just sounds like, oh, that sounds bigger than than venti. venti I mean, and venti means 20 in Italian. So, I mean, it makes sense, but it's. Oh, because you're just saying like, like venti trenti. Right, Phil? All like, I'm saying, I'm sorry I brought it up. All I'm saying is. <laughs> I'm not offended. I anything. want it to make sense. I'm offended. And and it it's just like here's Starbucks the thing in that okay it does not make sense i know we're like That's rehashing it. a paul red bit but like <laughs> why from a movie nobody cares about why you, is you this... got to think about it in terms of like evolution right so first there was it's like how this... the big gulp is now like the one of the smaller sizes at seven exactly yes, exactly true. yes <laughs> it evolved <laughs> though so first it was like you had a, a espresso and then you had a tall which is like the the bigger version. Of it's tall compared to an espresso, but it's not tall compared to some jumbo. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, well, we're going to introduce a bigger size, but we already have tall, so let's call this one like grande because that means like big, right? So then they're like, okay. But then they they don't want to have like extra grande, so they're like, we have to find a new way to name this even newer, bigger size. They should have called ounces. it double it's 20 tall. ounces, what should we call it? And they'll be like, well, let's just call it a venti. No, main yeah, but then Trenta feels thing. lazy because it was and like, Aaron, okay, grande, Trent, grande Trenta means is, is very lazy. Grande I, means I big, accept. right? Mm-hmm. Venti means twenty, and then it's like eh, thirty. Yeah, yeah. Aaron, it's dumb. Let me explain to you why that everything you just said is not okay. Okay, because <laughs> not okay. <laughs> because not even just because, inaccurate, just not okay. <laughs> oh, not okay. Because. When Starbucks started, you're acting like Starbucks was discovering these drinks. Yeah, no. <laughs> these drinks were fully formed, and then they started. So you like, think that's true? They... No. Well, let's see. You here. think Starbucks, like the first day they opened, they had all these sizes already? Well, they certainly they didn't, didn't have, have the Trenti. Trenta. Trenta. Cold you think they Trenti. had? You think they had? I was making fun of you, Phil. They had a tall. Let's see here. Because they also have short, which is eight ounces. They have a short and a tall, right. and then a grande. And they need to short. just have a medium menu jumbo. anymore. Nothing's on the menu. Have you gone to Starbucks? You can't. You look at the menu. You can't find anything on the menu. <laughs> okay, here's here's something stupid. This is saying, Aventi is Menus always twenty four. Drive throughs are insane now. They have nothing on them anymore. You have to know what, what you want before you ever go there. Yeah. Well, that's true. Oh, sorry. For sure. Cole, say it again. Aventi. Okay, so this this article, Trenti? this art, this whole thing, this is saying that the Trenti is thirty-one ounces. I mean, that makes sense. Here you go. Listen to this. The shop, yeah. when it first opened, had just three sizes: short, Ooh. tall, and grande. So yeah, you're I don't right. like it. I well, don't, tall I don't like it either. It's dumb. tall is like an actual thing outside of Starbucks, right? Like an espresso, a tall espresso, maybe. Is that something? Is that a, is that terminology that's used outside of well, Starbucks? It would be like it. a tall latte. Ooh, tall is almost latte backwards, right? <laughs> oh dang! It all. What? <laughs> it all. At all. Ooh, is the venti really? Is the trenti really thirty-one? How know. do you say? Trent. It really is 31. Well, here's what it is. They found like a cup supplier and it was like, well, we have 31 ounce because it's like some set amount of milliliters or whatever. It's probably like a thousand milliliters or something or a liter. I don't know. And the guy was just screaming at them in Italian. Is a liter? A liter is probably close to 30 ounces, right? 32. Uh, Oh, yeah. 33.8 is almost 34. Okay. So it's a little bit less. That's weird. You know what else is weird? Hmm. Friendship. No. Oh, they also have a demi. What's Wait, demi? What? Three ounces. Wait, Starbucks has a demi? Oh, guess what? They also have a cento, which is 100 ounces. Can you imagine going in and getting 100 ounces of like freaking coffee? Is That yes. must be like their like, travel Diarrhea all day. Thing. It's those things that you bring back to the office. It has a yeah. handle on it. Yes, it's they used to. Like a jug. You used to be able to get a McDonald's. Uh, they had twenty nine cent hamburger day, and 
and 39 cent cheeseburger day when I was in high school. And on those days, maybe they, maybe you could get them anytime, but we'd go and you could get a bucket of fries and they would just take the largest drink, which back yeah. then was huge and just fill it with fries. Yeah. I remember they used to sell like ounce. a bucket of fries, but it had like a, like a handle on it too. They had That's like what I thought too. Like, I'm trying to remember if it, it was like, a separate. I think it would like slip around the outside of the cup maybe. Oh, you're right. That's yeah. So I think dope. you're right. Or wait, like okay, I remember. Around. I remember KFC used to have like these giant travel soda cups that had like handles built into the cup. Yeah, a gas Cole, stations wait, used wait. to have those too. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. What is the tiny, tiny, the three ounce thing? What is? What did you say it was called? Demi. 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 And yeah, it's three that means, ounces. I mean, it's half. Yes. Which is annoying because the short is eight ounces, so it's not even half. It's not half of any of them. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Exactly. So if I order, I don't even know what I would like. What are you ordering when you when you go to Starbucks and say, and look them in the eye and say, "I would like a demi." You're getting like a like a macchiato and or something. A, like, what if you got a demi iced coffee? It's just like. But if I just three if ice I said, cubes, I'd like a sip. demi. If I just say, like demi is the size, so I yeah. I would need to what say. Demi. The same way. You're acting like, like Demi is the weirdest one of all these words. You're going to go in and say, I want a Trenti, and that makes sense to you? Okay. Phil, but... the, the Demi is that little cup they give you, like, if you order cream on the side. <laughs> or if you get a pup cup. <laughs> or yeah, when they come exactly. around, exactly. when you're sitting there for too long, and they're like, would you like a sample? Yes. That's yes, the that's Demi the Demi. Yeah. Okay, so, Cole, here's the thing. What you need to understand is there are some drinks drinks that are made Don't tell me what i need to understand but that cup it, that Dude. cup is is just it's like made to fit like a double shot of espresso okay and that's it because cole what you need so to it means half but it's meant to serve a double phil i lived in italy for four months you think i don't understand what it means to drink coffee out of a really small cup Ooh. um cole how much but, time did you but spend demi is actually from the, the french for demi toss of iniquity what? I lived at college dorms surrounded Demi, by Italian college students. That Demi is short for Demi Tasse, all day. which is a French word that means half cup. No, Demi just means half. Cole, you stop it right there. That's you like saying it <laughs> it's short for demigod, which means half god. Yeah, it does. No, no because it's part. Because a Demi Tasse is a type of cup. You see what I'm saying? Types and, feverishly. <laughs> and demi is used to refer to the type of cup. So it literally is like a shortening of that word. It's not just meaning half. Okay. But you know half, what of else what? Is but, demi? half of what? But the reason that word exists is because demi tasse means half cup in French. Tasse means cup. Demi Correct. means half. Correct. But they weren't, I don't think they were like thinking that. They're just like, it's short. We don't want to say demi toss. We just want to say demi because it's shorter and cute and it rhymes with venti, kind of. You see what I'm saying? It's like if they took deja vu and called it de deja something, not knowing that deja meant already or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. It's like, so it's like how, how podcast is the pod is from iPod. Mm hmm. But yeah. then people are like, oh, I'm listening to this new pod. But it's like, you're not listening to a pod. You're listening to pod a cast. iPod. You're listening to the cast. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like that. You're you know listening to the cast. Is. Phil, stop trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else? <laughs> you know what else is fetch? <laughs> Why do people... I know this is like a dumb thing to care about. Or, or like to talk about i'm sure this is like the most boring take ever it's the same thing with jamba juice though like people don't people aren't obsessed with coffee they're just they're just drinking like freaking ice cream basically yeah yeah right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's just sugar yeah I mean, well, so yes like yeah. the kind of coffees kinds of that like people. basic people are getting at starbucks it's just some enormous thing with a whole bunch of sugar in it, right? Uh, yes. Uh, so, my, yes. M well, Cole, yeah, my, my, my yes wife, one no. of my wife's favorite things to do is at Starbucks when she whoa, sees whoa, that whoa. somebody is very, very young mm, working okay. at Starbucks. She goes, hey, so what's your favorite drink? And undoubtedly, they will always say 
like oh it's the mocha the double mocha chocolate chunky fudge <laughs> chunky fudge like, monkey it, yeah yeah it's like some ridiculous thing that which has, is like, like it's all it's basically sugar. just chocolate milk right yes 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 which if I, I love work, chocolate if milk. If I worked there and someone asked what my favorite thing was, I would hate it every time so much. <laughs> like, Dude, can I'm, you imagine? I'm like, fast food I would, right wouldn't you love, know, that's what I'm going to do from now on. You. If you go into McDonald's, be like, so what's good here? <laughs> yeah, what's, what's your favorite <laughs> thing on the menu? Dude, that's such a good, <laughs> wait a that's wait a, somebody had to have done that on YouTube somewhere, but that's okay, a pretty but, great movie. But, <laughs> but when they're very young, they believe that like, this is like oh i get to i get to teach this person like mm -hmm. it's the person that's been there for like two or three years that mm. are hardened and like pissed off but if let me like ask you this 17 and i know you're listening so this is for you too even though you can't answer because it's pre-recorded what what's the goal of asking this question of these people I mean, At first it was if you're she was looking for new drinks, but now oh, okay. it's turned into like, now it's just to pick on them and like expose their ignorance and like laugh no. at them behind their backs. <laughs> no, it's just the way she treats people kidding. in the service industry. Yeah, <laughs> it wrong. She's like, here's a here's a tip: don't put cream in your coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is like now I'm feeling bad because I'm sure I've asked that at places that are like weird or how you know like you go to a place that has a weird menu or something like that yeah. and you say what's your favorite thing and they're like my favorite thing is leaving this job every day and never seeing people <laughs> like you again like my yeah. favorite thing I is hate everything about this place two you know? days in a row not working here where I don't exactly. smell like this job yeah <laughs> oh man I don't know. I worked at McDonald's for a couple months and I loved smelling like McDonald's. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, people do that. Yeah. The McDonald's is great, by the way. Exactly. It is. I love it. It's a great Anyone restaurant. who hates it is dumb. Yeah. Yeah. They think yeah. it's the same people who hate Creed. Well, I mean, <laughs> Creed Bratton, I was saying. Yeah, I knew. I hate Creed. Bratton. <laughs> Bratton. He Cole, doesn't abide you, by the law. You like Dashboard Confessional, right? I love Dashboard. Have you listened to the new the new songs? No. Aaron, dude, I have to talk say about this on the next episode. I that, should say I loved Dashboard Confessional twenty years ago. Let me tell you something. On the next episode of the Gear Slum. Oh, <laughs> thanks for screaming infidelities. Thanks for always wearing blue. Your friendship <laughs> is everywhere. <laughs>